All right, hello everybody, welcome back. Jill here with Go English Coach. We've got class three of our advanced grammar two class. So we're almost halfway through this class already. It's going so quickly. Um, so advanced grammar students, what we've been doing, uh, if you remember, hopefully you remember, uh, we've been looking at the present perfect tense. We've been looking at past progressive. We looked at past tense. So last uh, class, we did a, um, let's see, we did present perfect. And what we, uh, we did the present perfect with since and for, okay? So remember, this is a really common um, verb form in English. We use this more than probably the simple present tense. Um, and I'm not sure why. So if you're if you're wondering why, we can find some research on that for you. But essentially, um, we use this one a lot, and so it's really common. And so it really does uh, make a lot of sense that we spend a lot of time kind of figuring out what's going on and when to use this, how to use this. Um, by now, you should know how to use it. Um, just for the sake of being quick, let's do this. Um, remember our formula is subject, okay? A form of have, or excuse me, has or have the participle, okay? That's our very simple boiled down version of our formula for the present perfect tense, okay? Then in our class last time, we talked about this plus, since or for, okay? Hopefully you remember all of that. And hopefully you also remember when we use since or when we use for. There's two different scenarios. So for example, we can say, I have studied English for many years, okay? That's a period of time, okay? I have studied English since 2020, a point in time. So since is for a point, for is for a period of time. Since for, since for, okay? Um, great. All right, let's get this out of here. So what I'd like to do, we had after our lesson in our last class, we had um, a couple of uh, activities that I wanted you guys to work on. And I also gave a little listening quiz to you. So I'd like to give you the responses and answers to those pieces. And then we will come back here at the board and kind of work on our next part of present perfect with an unspecified time. So it's just another kind of, um, it's another opportunity, it's another way that we use present perfect. Since we use this tense in so many different scenarios, it really does make sense to kind of cover all of them so that you guys feel really comfortable using this tense going forward, okay? All right, come on over here. Let's just kind of review this. This was the, um, the listening exercise that I gave you, all right? And then I wrote down the answers of what I said. And so hopefully you got all of these perfectly, perfectly correct. Okay, let's let's check your work. Um, I'll read them on, uh, I'll read them all first. And then if so, if you didn't do it in the last class, go ahead and write down. So what I did here, very fast. I wrote one through 10. And then you can just write, from here or, you know, so like write number one and then write the answer that I gave you, okay? I'll read it two times and then I'll give you the answers, okay? Number one, have you ever seen a two-headed snake? Have you ever seen a two-headed snake? Number two, have you ever ridden in a small plane? Have you ever ridden in a small plane? All right, number three, have you ever driven a limousine? Have you ever driven a limousine? Number four, have you ever done volunteer work? Have you ever done volunteer work? Number five, have you ever ripped a, a shirt? Have you ever ripped 
a shirt. Number six, have you ever had a scary experience on an airplane? Have you ever had a scary experience on an airplane? Number seven, have you ever jumped out of a boat? Have you ever jumped out of a boat? Number eight, have you ever felt so embarrassed that your face got hot? Have you ever felt so embarrassed that your face got hot? Number nine, have you ever spoken to a famous person? Have you ever spoken to a famous person? And the last one, have you ever wanted to be famous? Have you ever wanted to be famous? Okay, great. Let's give you guys the answers here. So what do we have? Have you ever seen a two-headed snake? All right. Have you ever ridden? You could also say flown. There's other ideas you can have here, but I said written. Have you ever driven a limousine? Oh, let's see. Okay, driven, driven. Have you ever driven? Okay, have you ever done volunteer work? Okay, have you ever uh, ripped? Okay, so most of these have been irregular. This one is regular. Okay, have you ever had a scary experience on an airplane? Number seven, have you ever jumped out of a boat? All right, have you ever felt so embarrassed that your face got hot? Okay, have you ever spoken to a famous person? And have you ever wanted to be famous? All right, good work. Um, okay, the next part that I asked you guys to do was to create your own have you ever interview questions where you could interview a person or a classmate or a friend or a family member. All right, so let's get started here with number one. You have the words have, have you? ever caught a big fish okay so the third one we did together have you ever taken care of an injured animal these are all questions okay let's look at the fourth one here you ever lose something very important have you ever lost something really or very important. Okay, goodness. Okay, the fifth one, have you ever sat on a bee? Have you ever sat on a bee? Ouch, if you're not sure what a bee is, it's it's a uh, little bug, right, that we have. In, I'm sure that you have it all over the world, but um, yeah, when you get stung with it, it hurts. Okay, have you ever flown in a private airplane? Have you ever flown, that's the past tense of to fly, in, or it's the participle, a private plane? Okay. Um, you ever break your arm or leg? Have, have you ever broken your arm or leg right let's see what's the next one you ever find something very valuable have you ever found something very valuable okay let's see two more you swim near a shark oh have you ever swam near yeah, a shark. Okay. And then the last one, have you ever throw ball break window? Oh gosh, yes. Okay. Have you ever thrown a ball and broken a window? So you can see what happened here, you guys. 
So what happened here in this sentence, you can see is, have you ever, have you ever thrown, so there's your participle, a ball and broken a window. So you don't need to have another have here because you've got have, have you ever thrown, have thrown, and then have broken, okay? Let's switch you back over to, all right, so, what we've got here behind me is another kind of way or an example that we use the present perfect. So this is not using since or for. Here are some examples. So we've got this up here, number one. So something that happened in the past, but it's talking about something that kind of recently happened. Okay, so you're using a little bit of um, it's unspecified time. So it has happened but we're not necessarily sure when, okay? So here's your example, Jason has eaten lunch. You can say Jason has eaten lunch already. Jason has recently eaten lunch. Jason just has just eaten lunch. And these are kind of the examples here, just, recently, already, yet, ever, and never. So um, these are kind of like, Yes, it happened. Yes, it happened. Yes, it happened. And then these are kind of no, no, no. Okay. And we'll, we'll look at some examples of that. So Jason has eaten lunch that happened in the past and it's right now. Okay. So this is right now. This has happened in the past. We're not necessarily sure when he ate lunch. Maybe it's two o'clock right now. And Jason ate lunch at 11, but it's not really clear or it's not really important. Okay. It's maybe, maybe somebody is giving out food and they say, oh, no, 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 Jason has eaten lunch already. Okay. So then that's a possibility. And, and when he ate lunch is not important. Okay. Um, so this, the, the kind of overview is that it occurred in the past. We are not sure, or it's not important when, okay? Um, so this is a little bit different, a little bit different of a usage. Um, Jason has eaten there many times. So we're talking about something that has happened in the past again and again and again. So we've got three little X's that happened in the past and he might eat there again in the future, okay? Jason has eaten there many times in the past, okay? If we want to say this in the negative, let's try that. Um, let's do that. So if we use, let's use some of these here. Jason has, never eaten there. Okay, Jason has never eaten there. If you wanted to not use this one, you could just say, Jason hasn't, eaten there, okay? So those are two ways of saying that sentence negative, that it has not happened. Um, let's, let's go up here and make these negative. So Jason has eaten lunch. Jason hasn't eaten lunch, okay? And you can make this one negative. He has just eaten lunch. Um, you would probably, you would probably just say he hasn't eaten yet. Okay, he has, Jason hasn't eaten yet. That means he is hungry, okay? All right, so there's some examples of using those other forms. All right, then we've got this one other example here. It says we use the present perfect with time expressions for unfinished time periods. So here are some examples. That sounds like a lot of kind of confusing words, but I think when you see these examples, you will understand, okay? So the first example I have here, I've had three cups of coffee this morning. Okay, so that's, in the, that's the present perfect. So I'm going to just put here P, P, and this is just simple past. Okay, let's talk about what the difference is between these two sentences. They're really 
really similar, um, but they have a little bit different meaning. Well, they have a very different meaning, okay? So what is happening in this sentence, if you say, I've had three cups of coffee this morning, to me, that means it's still morning time. Okay, so let's say it's a you know 10:30 a.m. and I say to you, I've had three cups of coffee this morning. Then that means here is 10:30. Okay, I've had three cups of coffee this morning, and I might have some more. Okay. If I use the present perfect, it means I started in the past and I might continue into the future. I might, I'm not sure, it's not clear, but I might, okay? And I or, and I know that it's currently, it's still the morning. Like I'm not done, I'm not done drinking coffee and it's the morning, okay? Maybe I'm not done drinking coffee. Versus, if you compare that here, I had, just the past tense, I had three cups of coffee this morning. That means it's not morning. It's not morning anymore. So it's not morning anymore, okay? That means maybe now I said this at, 1 p.m. Maybe I said that at 1 p.m. Okay. All right. Let's do a little bit of practice with some of these examples back over here at the desk. Okay. Let's just take a look at these two kind of, we've got exercise 16 and exercise 17. Um, this comes from, uh, let me just give credit where credit is due. This is this book here, the fourth version of Fundamentals of English Grammar be awesome if you have these books. Um, if you don't, it's no big deal. Okay, so exercise 16 says circle all of the possible answers for each question. Sorry, you cannot see that, can you? Work in small groups and then discuss your answers. So if you have somebody that you can work on this with at home or you're taking this class with somebody else, that's excellent, pause this and work on this together with them. If you're working on this with just me, no problem, let's get started. Situation number one, it says Sarah is at home at 12 p.m. The phone rang. It was Sarah's friend from high school. They had a long conversation and, hung, and Sarah hung up the phone at 12.59. It's now one o'clock p.m. Which sentences describe the situation? It's now one o'clock p.m., okay? Sarah has just hung up the phone. Is this true? If it's one o'clock now and she hung up at 12.59, she just hung up the phone. So yes, that is true. Okay, she has hung up the phone already. Yes, that is true. The phone has just rung. Nope. Sarah hasn't finished her conversation yet. Nope, because she has finished her conversation. She finished here. And Sarah has been on the phone since 12 p.m. Yep, the phone rang at 12 p.m. So she began speaking on the phone at 12 p.m. Okay, does that make sense, everybody? Boom, okay. All right, let's look at our next situation. So Mr. Peters, let's see if I can get this bigger for you guys here. I'm gonna, I know. There we go. Mr. Peters is in bed. He became sick with the flu eight days ago. Mr. Peters isn't sick very often. The last time he had the flu was, was one year ago. Which sentences describe the situation? Okay, he became sick with the flu eight days ago. I'm just kind of reviewing to make sure I remember everything. Mr. Peters isn't sick very often. The last time he was sick a year. Okay, let's go. Let's see. So is A accurate. Mr. Peters has been sick for a year. No, he just became sick here. He hasn't gotten well yet. It's so he has not gotten well yet because it says Mr. Peters is in bed. So this is true. 
has he has just gotten sick he has just gotten sick um nope he has not just gotten sick so just when you say just it means like recently so in the short past so if you're looking at now right it's going to be like right here right here just very close to now okay but in the past all right so so this is now and then just or recently is like right in here okay okay he has just gotten sick no he has already had the flu um yes he had the flu before because he had it one year ago um and then the last one here he hasn't had the flu before that is not true because we know he has the flu now it started eight days ago and he had it one year ago all right all right, you guys, great. Let's look at this last situation here. Rob is at work. His boss, Rosa, needs a report. She sees Rob not, or she sees Rob working on it at his desk. She's in a hurry and she's asking Rob questions. What questions is she going to, to ask him? Okay. So Rob's at work. His boss is Rosa. She's she knows that Rob is working on something, but she needs it fast. So she's asking questions. So is one of her questions, have you finished? That is possible. Have you finished yet? That is possible. Have you finished already? We don't say that, okay? We say yet, okay? Um, okay. Let's stop there. Um, you guys are doing awesome work here. Um, let's see. I am going to, let's see. I, we're going to have another class on Thursday. Let's just get this all. Okay, everybody. Well, thank you so much for being here. I can't wait to see you in our next class on Thursday. Have a great rest of your day. Bye.